This homemade world-class pesto you can make in just five minutes. It's famous for its bright green brilliance of basil and it elevates any dish. It's sure to impress and it's part of a heart-healthy Mediterranean diet. Join me in the next three minutes and I'll show you how easy this sauce is. We start with just four simple kitchen tools, a blending jar that fits snug to your immersion blender head. The jar that comes with your blender is ideal, or I love these large wick jars. The stick blender is my go-to for easy whipping of all things sauces, and in just minutes, with very little cleanup. It's so vital in my cooking, I call it my magic wand. Next, a lemon squeezer. I love this stainless steel version as it's invincible. It's also easy to clean and helps make sure you get every drop of precious juice from your lemons or limes. Last, your trusted vegetable knife. This is my favorite. It's called a nakiri. A light weighted handle, a tall blade, and a straight edge to make the most contact with the cutting board. The ingredients are just as simple. And like all our sauces, we follow what I call my FOSS formula. Mm, kind of sounds like sauce. Get it? <laughs> but before we throw everything in the blending jar, we have three simple prep steps. First, we strip or pinch the basil leaves from the stems. Not only does fresh basil smell and taste like summer, but both sweet and holy basil varieties have a long history of medicinal use. Find brown spots? No worries, just clip them away. And leave the flowering parts out as they can be bitter. We want a bright green pesto packed with the sweet, subtle licorice notes of aromatic basil. So a big pile of herbs is crucial. About four cups of stemmed basil leaves. You can measure them if you want by laying the leaves in a measuring cup and pressing down slightly to eliminate air pockets. Or, like me, you can just eyeball it. One fistful is about one cup. Next in our simple prep steps is cubing the cheese, if needed, and this makes blending easier. I substitute the traditional Parmesan for my all-time favorite goat's milk sharp white cheddar cheese. It can be easier to digest than cow's milk, and goat cheese has more protein, calcium, and vitamin A than cow cheese. Also, less lactose and smaller fat molecules, making it easier to digest and beneficial for gut health. Our last prep step is lemons and garlic. Start by pressing and rolling your lemons back and forth. This loosens and breaks down the citrus membranes, making it easier for juicing. Then a simple cut in half. Lemons add a mouth-watering brightness and tang. Simple, yet so important. To peel your garlic, simply snap off a couple of cloves. I always have garlic on hand. Clip the root end, and then smash with the flat surface of your knife's blade. How to easily peel garlic in five minutes. Garlic has long been associated with health benefits, including helping lower blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Now, before we throw everything into our jar for a quick blend, a note about nuts and seeds. They aren't always easy to digest for those of us working with gut imbalances, so I replace the traditional pine nuts with pumpkin or sunflower seeds because I can purchase them already sprouted, which makes them easier to digest while still offering the same nutritional benefits as pine nuts. Now, time to add our ingredients to our blending jar following our FOSS sauce formula. F is for healthy fat, extra virgin olive oil, rich, fruity, and high in monosaturated fats, which help reduce inflammation in the body. Also from our healthy fat category, your nuts or seeds of choice. And from the high quality fat category, but also from the acid category, cheese which provides creamy, but also a bit of zest and tang, which is a secret weapon for balance in the dish. Iconic dishes are often defined by their acids. Pesto is no exception. A little bit of high quality cheese is good for us. And fresh squeezed lemon juice, high in vitamin C and other beneficial plant compounds. 
the juice can help support heart health, weight control, and digestive health. You can see here the separation of fat and acid in the jar, which is why our immersion blender is so important to combining our ingredients so they don't separate later. H is for herbs, and I do tend to add these at the end because they are delicate. Next, from our sweet and spice category, we plop in our garlic, which, by the way, has a compound called alicin, a type of antioxidant for health benefits. Finally, S is for salt in our FOSS list of ingredients. You don't need much here as the cheese already has a natural saltiness. And now our immersion blender, or honestly, I call it my magic wand, which you'll see for yourself. Place your stick blender in the jar and press it firmly to the bottom, being sure to cover the whole garlic. Because this is a lot of ingredients, you'll want to slowly move the stick blender up and down to fully combine everything. Like all our recipes, cooking can be your meditation time. Place attention on sensory experience, the sights, the sounds, the smells, and the touch of cooking. Practice being present, less lost in thought, less lost in screen time, and gratitude to the farmer and everyone in between who brings us our valuable food. Once your base is well blended and creamy, add in your chopped basil leaves. Basil is actually from the mint family, and this variety is sweet basil and renowned for use in its Italian dishes. With your jar full, press down with your blender head and pulse. Only a few quick seconds up and down to mix it all together. Beautiful. Pesto is famous for its bright green brilliance of basil. You can also experiment with mint, spinach, or even carrot tops. Then unplug your blender head so there's no risk of the blade accidentally coming on and, you know, causing harm. And then scrape everything into the jar. So easy. Remember, I'm using my handy immersion blender here because it's so easy to grab and clean and store. You can see that using a food processor or a blender can be a smoother process. Whatever works for you. Besides adding fresh flavor to your dish, pesto is also part of the heart-healthy Mediterranean diet. I substitute the traditional Parmesan for a more easily digestible goat cheddar cheese, and I use sprouted sunflower or pumpkin seeds, also easier to digest and for their powerful nutrients. Pesto smells and tastes like summer and takes any plant and protein combination to the next level. Enjoy. Enjoy.